This segment brought to you by Hope Cancer Care of Nevada, offering state-of-the-art cancer treatment in Pahrump. A little hope goes a long way. Well, here's Unette with what's happening in our courts. In this week's court report, Brian Patrick Hearn makes an appearance in district court Monday and is scheduled to be back in court again this Friday. Hearn is the Pahrump man accused of lewdness with a child under 14 and a laundry list of other related charges. During Hearn's arraignment change of plea hearing, the defendant appeared while in custody and the court outlined the case history and reviewed the no contest plea agreement. The court informed Hearn in regards to registration registering as a sex offender and outlines the difference between a tier one and a tier two. The court continued to inform the defendant that one of the charges Hearn is pleading to is not probation eligible. The court then proceeded to canvass the defendant and finds Hearn's no low plea to be given freely and accepts entry of said no low plea. A rep for the state outlined the state's evidence in this case, then the court set sentencing for June 15th. The defense attorney, Jonathan Nelson, waived the 14-day rule regarding the PSI report. Then Mr. Nelson requested the defendant remain in custody at the Pahrump Detention Center until sentencing. Notably, the court will allow Hearn to stay until this Friday and set a status check for that day. Hearn is facing 12 counts of lewdness with a child under 14, five counts of sexual assault with a child under 14, two counts of first-degree kidnapping of a minor, and one count of first-degree kidnapping. Also notably, Hearn was sentenced early last year for a separate case charge to 19 to 48 months in prison with 254 days credit for time served after being charged with attempt to obtain money under false pretense. Sentencing is handed down for the male suspect in a case connected to the stabbing of an elderly woman at a residence on North Barney Street. During David Metcalf's sentencing hearing for attempted murder with use of a deadly weapon, the defendant addressed the court and apologized for his actions. The state retained the right to argue and request the max sentence by noting that Metcalf is a three-time felon. Parole and probation stands. The court outlined the case history and reviewed the PSI report. Then the court ordered Metcalf to serve four to ten years in NDC prison with all the standard fines and fees set forth in the PSI report. Metcalf will also get 636 days credit for time served. The woman who was arrested and sentenced in this case after making a plea deal for herself is Leela Mabel Ashmore. Police say Ashmore was present during that attack and lied to investigators to cover up the crimes committed by Metcalf. This has been your Court Report. I'm Unette Gentry for News 46. Thanks, Unette. Well, here is Angela Miles with today's Business First Brief. Tapping our news, JetBlue started as a low-cost air carrier but is steadily climbing toward a higher clientele. The airline is selling seats on semi-private flights. The premium service is to the West Coast and along the West Coast. The seats are on JetSuite X, a private jet company based in California that has JetBlue as a major investor. More trouble in Toyland. Hasbro reported earnings that were worse than anticipated. Revenue missed by about $100 million. Hasbro blames it on the bankruptcy of Toys R Us. The stock bounced after the CEO mentioned the Toys R Us effect will have less of an impact later this year. Gap is going all in on Old Navy. The retailer plans to open 60 new Old Navy stores this year, along with remodeling older locations. The stores are performing well, along with Athleta. Some Gap and Banana Republic locations, though, are expected to close. Thanks, Angela. Well, it only took 23 years, but now Loretta, Loretta Lindell, who has served on the Pahrump Arts Council, has received an Andre Butch Harper Act of Kindness Award at the Pahrump Arts Council's 25th anniversary that happened on Friday night at Mountain Falls. I'd like to say hello to everybody that's here for Pahrump Arts Council and the wonderful work that they're doing in our community. But we'd like Loretta to come back up, please. 
as was already stated, she's done so much for, for our community uh, through the Pahrump Art Council and, and other ways as well, just by being a resident. And one of the things that uh, Deanna and I always look for is people in our community that are doing so much. And when they are, we select them for the Andre Butch Harper Act of Kindness Award. And so we decided tonight. We decided that tonight would be the perfect time to present Loretta Lindell with the, the Butch Harper Act of Kindness Award. And it says, for years of dedication and commitment to the arts. From the citizens of Pahrump, Nevada, no act of kindness is ever wasted. And that's what Butch used to always say. And we are always so proud to be able to present these awards. To you, Loretta, thank, thank you. you. So much. <laughs> I, I remember Butch very well, and this is truly an honor. Thank you. <laughs> very, very welcome. Is there anything else you'd like to say? No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> thank you. We'd like to thank Loretta for everything she's done and definitely deserving of the Act of Kindness Award. Thank you, Loretta. And thanks to all of you. Well, thanks so much, Tom, for yeah. doing that. And well deserved. It, very much so. All we need, right. We need those volunteers. Oh, yes, definitely. And stay tuned to News 46. We'll be right back with more information about how you can help solve unresolved sexual assault crimes and how your funding could help be the key.